Starting the BFR was a process. I started out as a bench gunsmith, and that's where I learned what works and what doesn't work. You know, as a gunsmith, when you're trying to make money as a gunsmith, you like the guns that break all the time. Because you get to repair them and you get to charge money for that. That's a, strictly a, a service thing. So I, I morphed into manufacturing, and then the uh, concept of the BFR came. And I brought it to Acrometal and uh, said, you know, this is a, a good opportunity if we want to continue on in the gun business, let's develop this idea. And they looked at that and they looked at that and uh, their corporate attorney said, no way, no way, we're not going to get involved in any handguns. And I kept thinking about it and then I went and talked to the boss, Paul, and I said, you know, if you don't mind, I'm going to quit. And I'm going to pursue this, this venture of the BFR. So we talked it over and I left. So uh, that was in January of 2000. And uh, we were shipping guns by the end of that year.